Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is the second part of my bedroom slash office makeover. If you haven't seen the first part, go watch that one first and then come back to this one and watch the whole process. So I mentioned in the previous video that I wanted to create a bookcase for my office next to the table, so I bought some timber to make it. I'm painting them first using the same color that I used for my office, so the bookcase will really blend in. After measuring everything, I started to cut the pieces, and I'm gonna use this small part as a shelf holder, which is gonna go right here. So the shelves are gonna be 15 centimeters wide and 60 centimeters long. I'm really terrible at explaining things, but what I'm doing here is that I grab one of the side pieces and I'm placing it on the shelf and drawing around it so I know exactly how much I have to cut out. And now I'm just placing the shelf on another one and marking where I need to cut. So it's gonna look like this, now maybe it makes more sense seeing it like this. So the shelf is going between two wood pieces and the other two are going on the other side of the shelf. I'm measuring where my shelves should go and I'm just drawing a line using a pencil. I'm using no more nails to add the shelf holders. So it's going to look like this, I just have to glue the side units to the shelves. I'm using some screws to secure the shelves, but only on the back side. This glue is super strong and the screws will hold the shelves. After cutting and sanding the shelves, of course the paint came off a little bit, so I'm repainting those parts. I wanted to add the cross brace to the back so the bookcase won't be shaky, but of course it arrived broken so I'm only using just half of it and hopefully it's gonna hold well. So for the front, for two shelves, I glued some stopper, if that's how we call them. I filled the gaps with some filler, I will send them down and paint them. It's definitely not perfect, but it was my first time making something like this, and I think it turned out still good. 
I'm moving it into the space and I will start styling it. Sorry guys, the light is horrible since it was so cloudy outside, so I had to use just the normal light. When it comes to styling a bookcase or any shelving unit, just start adding the books or other items and take a step back for a moment to see if they look good or not and move things around, until you like it. I wanted this to be a unit that holds all my camera gear and camera accessories, photography books and also I'm adding some tripods and food photography backgrounds on the bottom shelf. And it's looking like this. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now back to styling the rest of the room. For my shoes and some random stuff that I don't have space for anywhere else, I'm just using these IKEA shoe boxes, which go well with the color palette, they function well, so I don't see the point to buy other storage containers. So I knew I needed a nice stand, but since there's not a lot of space, I'm just using a small kids stool, which works perfectly. I got these picture frames from eBay. I'm adding two small ones into the office space and two big ones above my bed using the Sanio posters. This is my first time ordering from them and I'm really pleased with the posters and the service and the prints are super nice. Just adding my Yeti microphone next to my computer, which I use every day, and the beautiful waves from Zara with some pampas grass. I'm adding this beautiful chair to my office, which goes really well with the color scheme and it's comfortable. And here you go guys, the final result.